Jazzo. My mission here is to warn you that your ambition to become the sole ruler of Amatara will make you die like a common dog. One consolation about death is that it does not discriminate. I just might die like a common dog, as you just recommended, but uh, who knows the manner of death that the gods have prescribed for you, Chief Morgan? I will be the ruler of Amatara, the Igwe of Amatara, and no one, not even you, Ijazu, not even you can stop me. Tell the gods that. Tell the gods. Who can say a jumper? As now you could manage a few. Tata Bonafo. As you can be a I want a malo. I go who's a go on. I can go and the wells. Malozu. See, give a I'm not a good person. I'm not a good person. I'm not a good person. I'm not a good i you can't get we na na pamma. Ka bo gi lu mogi. Ke na lwe. Bo gwa na chuze di boba. Who can I want to get to I'm going to get to the next one. i Sadda, <laughs> Oh, you can get me. I'm not going to be good.
I want to give him a little money. One guinea, do I need? He said, I got a new and you're not there. Sound the group. I summon the elders. back to the house. No, is anything the matter? The Ikra has just sounded. I am leaving for the palace. Let's get back to the house. Mama, why? The equal road that just sounded portrays bad omen. As the traditional Prime Minister of Amachara, your father has gone to find out why. So please, let's go to the house. Let's go. Please, let's go.
The Ikoro has summoned all of us and you know the message. Igwe Umbunakwe has joined his ancestors. Before long, we shall meet again to make arrangements in keeping with our tradition for his last of father, after which we shall consult the gods for their choice of a new Igwe. If you saw me again, I saw this your useless body. Since I don't want to tell you who I be, I'm out of from this house. Come out of from this house. Look at you, buddy. Look at you, buddy. Look at you, buddy. Busa! Pull out this man from the... Now, now. Pull out of the chair. Pull out of the chair. Now. What's going on there? Who is that fellow shouting outside the gate? I don't know about him. In come because I call him up for side. In start to the abuse I'm going. Why? I don't know. In to say in be Ichi. Ichi? He could be from my village. Let me. Oh, God. Calm down. He doesn't know tradition, okay? Just calm down. Calm down. Abu Abanda. It's Jay Tiba. Abu Abanda. The Lord goes on one of our matter. Say it again. Welcome to the food of the boy in Thank you very much. Thank sit you. down, please. Sit down. Thank you very much. How are your children and wife? Ah, uh, they are on summer holidays in the United States. Um, what do I offer you? <laughs> this house is yours too. Chief, a pregnant woman does not dance there till Lord will dance. I have a solemn message I must deliver to you from the people of Amatra before anything else. Ichi, is it about the two million naira that I promised to donate to the school project? <laughs> Come on, join me and let us drink as we talk. Or have you forgotten in whose house you are? Not at all, Chief, not at all. You see, a headless body has no need for learning of any sort. The all-knowing gods have beheaded Amachara. Mm. Mm. Deep words, Ichiduma. Deep words. Unload your mind. Igwe Umunnapwe, the Okoji of Amachara, has joined his ancestors. So the council sent me to come and inform you. Thank God. Haru. Haru. What did you say? Calm down, EJ, calm down. You see, some kings are made, while some are predestined to be kings. I, Ibuani Danda, am born to be a king. I don't, I don't think you got me right, Chief. I did. Huh? You said the Igwe is dead. Ah, ro. The Igwe does not die. He goes to the great beyond to rest. Whatever, EJ, whatever. An Igwe must die. Or, or rest for another to be crowned. Ichi, look at my head. Hmm? Look. Is it not good enough for the crown of Amachara? God forbid that I should be drawn into the abomination of discussing the succession to the throne of uh, Amachara. 
Why are you guys here to be buried? <sighs> it's Edema. Our forefathers say that those who must win any race must start in time to prepare for it. To me, the succession race has started. And if you fall in behind me, I promise to make you a millionaire overnight. Now, you're joking. The Ibuai Danda does not joke. Excuse me. happy that uh, you're all here. We set aside today to discuss the burial arrangements of the Igwe, with particular emphasis on his last of father. As no. you all know... Oh, no, please. Not without Chief Mwaka. This meeting is too important to take place without the presence of the most illustrious son of Amachara, Chief Mwaka. Idima, council meetings do not wait for anybody. The meetings start on time. This is why it is demanded of the Ichiyas that they be punctual. You see? You see? That's the problem with poverty. The poor are created for the comfort and convenience of the rich. Enough! Enough, you changed, man. Ah! I'm ashamed of you. The soul of Amata is lying in there in perpetual silence. And you are here in salt. No, no. Sit down! Sit down. Sit down. As I was saying, it is the custom of our people to ensure that before the Igwe embarks on his... Can I know why this meeting started before my arrival? As I was saying, it is the tradition of our people. However poor you are, I expect you to know that a rich man like me has a lot of things to attend to at any given time. Papa. You came late. Sit down! We are here to discuss the burial rights of Igwe. Sit down! If that is what this meeting is all about, on how to raise money for the burial of the Igwe, you should have told me instead of wasting my time. I've already set aside a sum of 10 million naira for the burial. Ichiazu, appoint a committee to work out the details and send the list to me later. Abuapanda. Good day, Ndichi. Abuapanda. Poverty of the mind is an affliction from the gods. Gods of our ancestors am at crossroads. I have lived my life based upon our traditional values. My entire life has been governed by the conviction that it is right to be honest, straightforward, and sympathetic to the plight of others. My father taught me as I was growing up that people are respected by the wealth of their virtue and not by virtue of their wealth. Today, all these values that we hold dear have been set aside in preference for things that are foreign and inimical to our interest as a people. What do I do? Do I change for the times? Gods, I have come to seek from you wisdom.
to enable me sustain the things I cannot change and still maintain my integrity. So because our values have changed and the yardstick for measuring this value has also changed, that's why I decided that uh, Enina will go to the city and learn to survive on his own in the city. What? Yes. How can you send your only son to room in strange city, a strange city and get lost tonight? Uh, you see, it was a very painful decision for me to take. But it was imperative because I had no alternative. Um, after the Igwe must have been committed to the care of our ancestors, he will live for the city. He didn't finish secondary school two years ago. He's still a small boy. How can he go, in, go to the city and start living alone at night? Yes, I know that he finished secondary school two years ago. I had to take this decision because I don't have any money with which to further his education. It now becomes imperative for him to leave and seek his survival elsewhere. Not here, certainly. The other people have done that. It will not be any exception. He will go there. He'll be guided by our forefathers. He will succeed. Um, Papa, I've had you. But what will I be doing in the city in order to survive? In, uh, you will do everything that will make you successful without compromising the integrity of this family. And I know you will do it. But Papa, you know we don't have any relation in the city. Where will Enina stay in the city, Papa? Now the friend of mine called Ugumba, he used to be the headmaster of Amachara Primary School. Your mother knows him. He now stays in Enugu. Enina will be staying with him. Hmm? And um, he will succeed. You may think that Enyin Naya is too young. I was 10 when my parents died. But I was able to get where I am today because I persevered. Most of the young men who are successful in this village today and flaunt their world left this place for the township having nobody to stay with. But they went there, they succeeded, and they came back here. The same thing will happen to Enyin Naya. He will go to city. He will be guided by the suite of our forefathers. He will succeed and he will come back. Listen. Mweze and Evunamba. You know that. More so when you are the son of somebody who has kept his head while others have lost theirs. I am the lion and you are my son. You will succeed. Nothing will prevent you. Why? Because you are my son. You will go there. You will succeed. You will come back. And we shall hail you as a success. Remember, wherever you go, you are carrying the name and the integrity of this family with you. And for that alone, our ancestors will guide you. Because... You are my son. Thank you, Papa. I've had you. And I know with your blessings, I shall succeed. Good. <laughs> Chief, thank you for your drinks. You're welcome. Now, why have you called us to your house? With so much urgency as conveyed by your driver. Thank you, Uchi OKJ. You see, the survival of any kingdom lies in the ability of its leaders to arrive at and implement good decisions swiftly. True words. But ours is uh, no such danger. It's no imminent danger, is it? It could be. The gods have provided us with a great opportunity to build a matter. That's why I invited both of you here so that we can put heads together and talk about how best to do that. 
We're listening. It's about the succession to the throne of Amachara. What? I want you. Eh? To, to do what? Calm down, gentlemen. Calm down. Judging by the abomination you have just mentioned, if we allow you to finish, you will incur the wrath of the gods. <laughs> the gods can be appeased with sacrifices. And I have the money to do that. And that is why you forget that talking about succession to our throne. While the former occupant is yet to be buried, is taboo. Abolition! Calm down. Gentlemen, calm down. Listen. The past and the ignorance and stagnation it represented died with Igo Munekwe. Let us talk about how to bury it and embrace a new future of hope and progress that beckons on us. The gods are listening. Shelve this topic now till after the Ibis burial and avoid the wrath of the gods. <laughs> the gods are wise, Ichiogo, very wise. They will never kill the ego of Amachara. Both of you are looking at the next ego. So, hey, I'm coming from you. Hey, I'm getting out of here. Gentlemen. It seems a Jade I was right. I have to wait till after the burial. The wine under <laughs> the aunt of a marcher. Play this place. all what I told you in the house. Hmm? Yes. I don't intend to add any other thing to it, but bear in mind, whatever you do, wherever you go, please always remember where you are coming from. Hmm? Yes, you are carrying the name of this family wherever you go. Hmm? Yes, Papa. May the gods of our forefathers, the gods of our ancestors, the gods of Amachara guide and protect you at all times. You will go in peace and you will come back accomplished. I've heard you, Papa, and I will not fail you. Thank you. See him off. Thank you.
Mm. It changed, man. That was a very brilliant suggestion you made last week. <laughs> and it really worked in destabilizing the succession meeting each has so called. I will abandon Chief, the poor man's inability to resist monetary gift is likened to that of the housefly to resist feasting on a decomposing caps. Hmm. <laughs> Good choice of words. Um, Ichi. I can still remember the various expressions on the faces of those elders when they saw the morning in my portfolio that day. <laughs> I guess I'm on my way to the throne already. You are already sitting on it. Uh, <laughs> yes. Not until we stop Ichazu's insistence on allowing the oracle make a choice for us. Yeah, that one is very simple. See, once the council supports it, you have it. There is nothing he can do. All you need is to invite the elders here, apply last week's method, and it works out. Yes, it will be done. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> I will have them here tomorrow. Straight away. Um, Ichi, I learned Ichiazu is planning another meeting soon. I have to beat him to that. You will beat him. <laughs> I'm sure of that. You will beat him. I don't want to buy it for my you won't get that. That's me. That's me. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. There's more from where this came And they take it in. And they take it in. And they take Yeah. Welcome to my house in Nietzsche. Thank you very much. Uh, people say that no one calls gray hairs to a meeting except to discuss gray issues. I called you here today to discuss the present and the future of Amacha. And all of you will agree with me that no other issue could be more grey at all. At all. <sighs> but isn't such issue too important to be discussed in the absence of the traditional prime minister and acting head of Amateur? Well, um, it's okay, Jay. You're right. You're very right. But I have so much regard for the office of Ichiazu that I cannot invite him to my house to discuss anything. Rather, I'll see him in his house later. The proper thing would have been to talk things over with him first. Ichiazu, a world as dynamic as ours requires adaptability by those who wish to be relevant. Change that involves disregarding to the dictates of the culture of our people is evil. Yes. Um, it, it's all right, DJ. It's all right. It's all right. Well, without wasting any more of your time, I called you here to inform you that I, the Bwain Danda, want to become the next Ikui of Amacha. No one chooses the Ikui of Amacha except a Jigora. The members of this council can change that. Mm -hmm. And that brings me to ask, whose Igwe are we talking about here? Is it the Igwe of Ejiri, the Oracle, or the Igwe of Amacha? Igwe of Amacha, of course. Well, if that is the case, the people and not the Oracle should choose their Igwe. Um, the development of this community, of Amacha, depends on us. Or the destruction of our village and all of us. Yes. Not if I am the Igwe. Mm. I will personally develop a matter with my hard earned money. Mm. Besides, there is another side to this that I know all of you will surely like. James, 
Yeah. Tell the boys to get me the box. Azul's insistence on having the oracle name our next will and support me to the throne. Spontaneous reaction like theirs changes when calm and calculative reason takes over. Eh? I can assure you everything is under control. In fact, you are the Igwe already. Igwe! 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 has gone to the city, he will soon start sending you goodies. That's my prayer, Azo. Hey, but then your brother has been sending money to you for the past two years. Ha ha ha, you can say that again. As if he sends them to me and not to my parents. Oh, it's the same thing. The same money your parents use in buying good clothes, shoes for you that you use. Maybe you mention. Well, it's still Well, yes. I'll never hear you. <laughs> what the game? You never hear latest words. You, you are your latest gist. Or you need to what this time? Huh. As if you are not in this town. Okay. Rumor has it that Chief Mwaka is nursing the ambition to be the next Igwe of Amachara. Amachara Kaya. <laughs> oh, you need to. Who told you? Eh? Eh, 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 wait. What is wrong about that? Huh? Prove that the gods nominated him. <laughs> okay. It is said that uh, he doesn't want it that way. He wants to get to that throne at all costs. And even if it means buying it, he has the cash. He can even buy this whole village. You can see, he has even made you his campaign manager. Well, my father told me. That word, however big, does not but one the ancient tune of Amachara. So I heard. The throne is a gift of destiny. And the gods. Please let's go, we can gossip. So, what I am saying in essence is that the choice of Arigwe henceforth should be based on relevant and empirical qualities and not just on the whims and caprices of our gods who stand to lose nothing if the Igwe fails. Sit down, Chief Mocker. 
sit down. You are insulting our tradition. Why should he sit, sit down? down? Why should he sit down? Why? Uh, okay, Jay. wait, wait. You see, the beauty of our traditional administrative system is that everyone is allowed to express their opinions, no matter how unsavory those opinions might be to some people. So, let him have his way. Um, Mwaka, please go on. I have already made my position known on this issue. I have a right to have my suggestion accepted or rejected by a vote of all the council members. It has never happened before. Why should it start happening now? Supposing it starts today. No, tell me. Supposing it begins right now. What is wrong in Chief Mwaka indicating his interest to vie for the worship of Amachara? What is wrong in that? Those who the gods want to destroy, the first make mad. I'm ashamed of you and your cohorts in this shameful performance. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Being as poor as you are and behaving and talking the way you do gives you the picture of an unintelligent sycophant. Do you hear that? An unintelligent sycophant. It's all right. Are you. Are you what? Ichi being a member of this august council presupposes that you must enjoy some integrity. But the irresistible fascination that the gutter has for you begins to just make one wonder. And I mean every word of what I am saying. You insult your seniors with impunity. You desecrate our traditional values gladly. You make nonsense of our deliberations happily. But sometimes I wonder how you wound up in this council. You see, the way you sound gives me the impression that you crawl out of a background of pockmarked criminal mistakes. <laughs> now, having said that, let me get to the issue on the floor. The successor to the throne of Amachara has never been determined by ballot. It is the exclusive preserve of the gods, and they alone enjoy that authority. This argument ends here. Panda, <laughs> Chief Moka, let's go. If we fail today, tomorrow is another day. Let's move. Let's move. Panda. I am totally disappointed in you, Jade Man. You failed me. I tried my best. Your best was not good enough, my friend. It was a woeful failure. Now tell me why I should continue to partner with you to realize my ambition. Why? I'm sorry, Chief. I'm sorry. See, I thought I had convinced all the indigenous until I had a cheer as we had a meeting with all those who are opposing us in this house. Hours before today's meeting. What? Yes. That's why he poisoned their minds against us. A chief, what do you suggest I do to Ichiazu to stop this nonsense? Uh, chief, 
a poverty like a virus disease has eaten deep into him and he is dying slowly so only a reliable cure can make him to support you how do you suggest i cure him kill him no chief no he enjoys special protection from the gods as acting head of amachara so any attempt in that direction will be suicidal let me suggest that you offer him what he can never refuse an offer he will never refuse Ichiazu is a very difficult man, Ichidima. Very difficult. Yes, he is difficult, but the best way to get the weakness of any man is through temptation. Tempt him with the opposite of poverty. And you will smile, I assure you. Yes, the opposite of poverty. So once upon a time, a toad was relaxing under the shade of a tree. Then a snake came along and asked the toad to go away. And the toad said, why? And the snake said, because I am the only one who is entitled to enjoy the shade of this tree. So the toad moved some little distance. Again, the snake went to the toad. Hi, Rich. You're welcome. Mwaka, what are you doing in my compound? Kotsi demands that a host offers a seat to his visitor before anything else. Uh, not when that visitor is a problem unto the community. Okay. Akpati. Yes, Chief. The bag. Inside this bag, Ichiazu, is the sum of five million naira, enough to change your world overnight. I am offering it to you. For what? I want to be the next ego of Amachara. Take this money and remove all the obstacles you're putting on my way to achieving that. The traditional stool of Amachara is not bought with money. That area is the exclusive preserve of the gods. So I don't need your money. In defense of the sacred sanctity of the culture of Amachara, I stand firm like the Iroko tree. Ichazu, a man blasted by the wind of poverty, is like an Iroko tree without roots. This is an offer you can't refuse, Ichazu. Take the money away, Moka. I don't need it. You will hear from me. Till then. Good. Akpati. Yes, you. Sierra. Come. So the toad moved away from under the shade of the tree. Again, the snake followed it. Ancestors, I greet you. 
you have always guided us you have always protected us you have always provided for us Morka and his men are abusing everything that we hold dear in this community he has consistently referred to me as a poor man he has not stopped there he calls me an Iroku without roots there are some of us in this community who have sworn to uphold our traditional values the essence of our culture we know that we are in the right and because we know that we are in the right gods of our ancestors this is your fight it is your duty God to rid our community of Morka and his men who have decided to deride everything that we hold dear I offer you this sacrifice as I make this appeal to you gods protect us rid us of the pestilence represented by Morka and his people His rejection of your money makes everything very difficult. I suggest you allow the gods name the Igwe. You will then buy the position from the person so named. Our culture allows that. And forever lose that throat to some nincompoop if he refuses to sell it? No. That is totally unacceptable by me. There must be a way to neutralize it, Yasuo. I am paying for your services, so think for God's sake, think! At the moment, Chief, you still command the loyalty of majority in the council. The only thing we can do now is to deplete their number and then invoke our rights in the council to force him to revisit the issue. Yes. By convincing some of them to support us. But it, that would be very difficult with the two most respected Ichis in that camp, Ugo and Ukeje. What you are implying is that the opposition will crumble without those two. As sure as the palm oil melts with the application of heat. Yes. Honestly, I am really proud of Papa's refusal of Chief Mokka's bread money yesterday. But I'm worried. Worried over what? I was eavesdropping when they were talking. And I didn't quite like his choice of words. Mama, he sounded so desperate and dangerous. I'm afraid for our safety, Mama. Yeah. Adam, your father is highly protected by the gods. Nothing will happen to him. Hmm? Chief Moka, in all indication, would do anything to become the Igwe, including killing no. Tell Papa not to stand on his way. I'm afraid for our safety, your mama. I'm afraid, though, for your father to allow anybody to ascend to the throne of Amacha in the wrong way. It's a betrayal to the gods. Huh? 
Even at the point of death, he will never allow that. Hmm? I know you love your father so much, so go and prepare a breakfast. of our land come to our rescue now we came up repeat what you told us council a while ago before these gentlemen okay. isn't it premature involving the police at this point I guess I need not remind you Chiazu that murder apart from being an abomination in Amatara is also a capital crime that only the police can investigate. I know that. But this council have dispatched some youths to the scene of the crime to go and try to authenticate the statements made by this woman here. Why don't we wait until they return so they can report back to us? Ichiazu, obstruction of justice is a crime. And at my level in the society, to get associated with any crime is a dirty scandal. Those who have no reputation to uphold and protect, like you, can afford to be careless in things like this. I can't. Officers, yes, sir. this woman saw it all. Madam, what happened in the bush today? <clears throat> I was picking mushrooms in a bush near Ichiogo's farm. When I heard a gunshot, I rushed out. I saw him lying in a pool of his own blood. But before that, I had seen a man hastily walking away from the farm. Is the person here? Yes. Can you identify him? Um, I didn't see his face soon, but from what I could make of his back, he looked like Ichi Ukeje there. Eh? Yes. Me? Eh. In a Eh. Oh no. It's not true. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Woman. I want you to look me in the eye and tell me that the person you saw at the scene of the crime is Ukeje. Did you check in the morning? Welcome, welcome. Oh no, the youths are back. They recovered this gun at the crime scene. Apparently, it was the murder weapon. Coach of Amateur. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Abu Panda. Abu Panda. This is Ichi Ukeje's gun. Uh -huh. In fact, I heard him buy it. Oh. Eh? Ichi Ukeje. This is your gun. That's your gun. Abu Panda. This man is in all yours. This is my gun, but... Oh, officer. Yeah. Uh, let him complete the part in your station. From the time he committed this crime, he became an unwanted person, an alien in this community. Please, just uh, take it 
Take him away. Grand drinking. Wait. No son of Amajara is found guilty before the facts are established. Let us employ some common sense here. How can a man commit a crime with his gun and then abandon that same gun at the scene of the crime? Does it make sense? He must have committed the blunder in his haste to leave the scene undetected. I screamed when I heard the gun shot. Maybe that was what scared him. Did you hear that, Mr. Right and Wrong? Did you? Officer, please do your work. Take him away. Let's go. Sir, let's go. My friend, don't waste our time. Let's on. go, sir. Okay, yeah. Don't worry. I know that the gods will intervene. Gods of our land, come to our rescue. Gods of our land, wipe away our tears. Hey, if one danda allows us all one, if one danda. Welcome, thank you very much. Indeed, there is no amount of load too big for the if one danda. You have proved it. Thank you, Jay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh huh. I have paid a man. Okay. And the DPO has assured me that it's okay, Jay. Is a sure candidate for the present yard. Panda. <laughs> <laughs> that is one problem solved. Mm. But let me tell you, Chief, even if they release him, our culture forbids that he steps his feet onto the soil of Amaja ever again. <laughs> yes. It's a man. Eh? When the lion enters the jungle, the antelope takes to its heels. <laughs> it is very unfortunate that they fail to know who the lion of Amachara jungle is and take the necessary precautions when I entered. Ah, oh, Panda! Ibu! Ije! Chief. The men are <clears throat> outside. Yes. Have you briefed them yet? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay, let me see them. Okay. He has told you everything. Yes. yes. The council meets very soon, and that's where the real action will be. But one thing is clear though helping me become the next Igwe of Amachara means helping yourselves out of the trap of poverty. I hope you understand. Yes. You understand. Good. <laughs> Good. Um, please wait outside for me. Thank you. Thank you very much. James! James! Talk to me, please. I'm your wife. Yeah, there, uh, there's no problem. This is what you have been telling me. Hmm? Three days ago, no problem. Yesterday, the same thing. Today, again, not, there's no problem. Talk to me. I am your wife and I am worried. 
I said there's no problem. Look, allow me to think. There's no problem. Eh? There's no problem. Oh, let it be no problem. problem. Gods of our land, wipe away our tears. Gods of our land, help us out of the situation. Gods of our land, you're all that we have. Who are you? You heard me, didn't you? I said, who are you? Uh, they are those replacing Ichiezu, Keje, and Dugu. Who appointed them? Their respected villages sent them to fill their slots in the council. That is not our procedure. If their villages want them to represent them on the council, they will first of all come to me with their names. If I approve those names, they'll be appointed to the council. They never did any such thing. Ichiezu. Their people recommended these gentlemen. Mm. I do not recognize them. Chiazu, you are just a traditional prime minister. It doesn't give you the right to take laws into your hand. No. I want both of you to leave now. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, um, please, you don't have that right to order them out of this council. Mm -mm. I said I want both of you to leave this place. All right. By the powers conferred on me at the Onuwu of the Amatera community, I hereby suspend all council meetings henceforth until further notice. You can't do that. The judge, I said you can't do that. How can you do that? Like But how can he unilaterally take a decision like that? Wait for option two. How dare you? How dare you, Jiazu? Do you know what he succeeded in doing yesterday? Effectively stopping me from taking any further step towards realizing my ambition. Chief, it's even worse than that. His decree yesterday has effectively made him the sole traditional ruler of Ramachara until he recalls the council. I have always known him to nurse that ambition. How else can one explain that a poor, wretched man like Ichiazu wretched man, would reject millions of ever gifts from me? I will stop him. Uh, uh, Chief, let me ask you. I want none of your advice. But, but, but I want to all you. of you. All of you. Uh, uh, all of you. I want to I uh, Chief, let's invoke the right of the people. So that next time when he shows this tendency to dominate, he will easily be checked. Not, not until I have made some salient facts known to that fool. But Chief... Uh, I want to be left alone. Uh, but there, there are I ways. said leave my house. I'll never put the guts loose on you. Leave! James! Abu Abanda! James! Abu Abanda! Hey! Abu Abanda! Hey! I am the Iguayan Tanda, the aunt of a matcher. Chiasu, you are playing with fire, and fire will burn you.
Richardson. My mission here is to warn you that your ambition to become the sole ruler of Amatara will make you die like a common dog. One consolation about death is that it does not discriminate. I just might die like a common dog, as you just recommended, but uh, who knows the manner of death that the gods have prescribed for you, Chief Morgan? I will be the ruler of Amatara, the Igwe of Amatara, and no one, not even you, Ichazu, not even you can stop me. Tell the gods that. Tell the gods. Before I speak any further, Iche Idima will brief you on the reason why we called you to this meeting. Iche, please. Uh, thank you, Chief. Thank you. And uh, welcome once again. Thank, thank you, Chief. Uh, there are things you can do to a married woman, and she won't tell her husband. Yes. But not when you take away her baby from her. It's true, it's true. It's your cooking. There is a treacherous evil going on in our town, Amatara, right now. And as youths and women leaders, you have a right to know because you are equal stakeholders in this our kingdom. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Azu and a few other greedy Ichies have conspired to deny our town a new Igwe since the demise of Igo Munawe. We have tried our best to stop them, but to no avail. And because the destiny of our town is in our collective hands, we decided to inform you and the entire kingdom. Not on my life. I am the president of Amachara Youths in this community. And so, by my honor, I swear that no youths will stand aside and watch anybody rape our culture in broad daylight. Yes. Hey. What is it? Yes. Can Can happen? Happen? Not with my colleagues and I as a women leader. We will mobilize people against such evil right away. Yes. Mom, I know you will. I know you will. But before you mobilize, let me remind you that the world has changed tremendously. These days, people like you, like me, Determine our destiny and not the gods anymore. Yes, yes, yes. I single handedly built a secondary school in Amachara. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. My foundation has ensured that widows and their children do not live in perpetual misery anymore. Yes, sir. So are our youths in the area of business and job opportunities. My people, the next Igwe of Amachara must be progressively minded. Of course. Uh, Chief, I think 
the gods have that prerogative of choice in that uh, regard? No, German. No. The Igwe is the ego of Amatara people and not of Amatara gods. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, but, uh, AGMA. but, but is a cloak that blindfolds the foolish from taking full advantages of the opportunities before him. Hmm? Your father is ill and needs medical attention, right? James? Yes, Chief. Abu Panda. Abu Panda. That is a hundred thousand naira. Take care of your father with that. Thank you, Chief. Darling, it's all right. Thank you, Abu. Eggy Igwe. Eggy Igwe. Ah, James. Yes, Chief. Give each of them a bundle. All right, sir. Chief, 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 Nothing goes for nothing. In other words, in other words, you rub my back, I rub your back. That's right. That's right. Okay, um, yeah. I will brief you, Father. Thank you for coming and thank you for listening to me. I greet you. What is the problem? You see, Azun, the beehive of amateur community has been disturbed, and the angry bees are in the air, seeking the head of the culprit. Grave words, my son. But I don't understand you. 
Uche, if in the next four days you do not reconvene the Royal Council to select the next Igwe, then we will invoke the power of the people and have you removed as the traditional Prime Minister of Amachara Kingdom. My people, have I spoken your mind? Yeah! What I have just heard is your collective opinion, then I'm afraid Amachara is in danger. No, Ichie, you have endangered yourself with greed and ambition. And if you do not heed our warning accordingly, then we will react. All right, I've heard you, and the gods have heard you as well. We shall meet, and I'll get back to you. You can go now. Nani, I don't like the trend this issue is, is taking. There's no need to be afraid. There's nothing to worry about. How would I not be afraid? The entire match are they against us. I am the no and I can handle the situation. Go and prepare me some roasted yam. Come on. Quickly. I want to eat roasted yam. Haven't you heard me? Oh no. We are here to inform you that the elders of our two villages have rejected your nominees to the Royal Council. Why? We were not mandated to tell you that. I see. All right. I will send you fresh nominees. That would be necessary. No nominees outside any and Endoka will be approved. I see. So you were also mandated to tell me who to nominate. Hmm? You see, when the gods allow you to reach a particular age, as both of you have now, it is for you to be custodians of culture. It is for you to preserve our traditional values, not to desecrate them. Hmm? Does the dog eat the bone that is hung around its neck? No. Give me your hands. Good. Fine. You see, when elders who are leaders of a generation decide to call black white, that generation is doomed. But there's a consolation. The gods cannot be deceived. The gods can never be corrupted. And they are watching us. They are watching every action of ours. All right, I have heard you. Thank you for insulting us. Elder, let's go. Ah. Mm -hmm. The wise and fearless welcome you to the boat of the gods. I thank you, Chief Priest of Amachara. The people of Amachara have been suffering and groaning under the tyranny of one man. I ask you. What have we done to deserve all this? Are our gods asleep? Not at all. Give me the gifts for the gods and go home.
gods of our land come to our rescue gods of our land wipe away our tears yeah. Gods of our land, help us out of this situation. We did everything as you instructed us, Chief. Good. Just two days ago, we got the elders of our villages to reject his nominees and insist on any and the Ndoka. Hmm. And was the chair as you told him from? That same thing. Have you heard from him since then? No. <laughs> it's all right. Thank you for a job very well done. As you go now, my guard will give each of you the sum of 50,000 Naira. And that of all the elders of your villages. Please, send my gratitude to them. Thank you, Chief. You're welcome, you're welcome. You. You're welcome. This is great, Chief. Chief, the deadline set by Amateur people for years to do as we want, expires today. And he doesn't seem to be bothered. Now, what is our next line of action? Maybe he thinks the people are joking. Let's wait till tomorrow and see what his face will look like when the people carry out their threat. The poverty-stricken fool will sink into the ground in shame. Better. He will see it. Better. Because I wouldn't want him around when I, Ibuai Danda, the aunt of Amachara finally become the equal of Amachara. This is impossible. 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 My people, I greet you. Thank you. We greet you, too, sir. My people, I greet you once again. Thank you. Thank you. Unity is indeed strength. Today is our day of appointment with destiny. The destiny of our people, the destiny of the Amachara people is sacred. So now, let's all march to Chiazu's house and protect the sacredness of our destiny. Amacha Akwenu! Amacha Akwenu! Amacha Akwenu! Let's go! Silence! Silence! Wise one, we are gathered here. Listen! To the message of the gods of Amachara. This gathering does not enjoy the support of the gods of Amachara. The intent is evil. I question your integrity on that, wise one. The gods are the gods of the Amachara people, and not the gods of Ichiazu. Yes! Or has Ichiazu bribed you to speak? Shut up your mouth before the gods strike you dead. Beware that they do not turn on you first for misrepresenting them. People of Amacha, I perceive death. I hear the distant rumble of the deadly thunder of injury. Disperse! Go home. Go to your houses to avoid the wrath of our gods. Wise one, we are not against the gods. We people only want a new Iwe, and Ichi Azu is refusing us one. That is why we want to go to his place and demand for one without further delay. The gods choose the rulers of Amachara Kingdom, and so far, Ichi Azu enjoys their support. To oppose him is to oppose the gods. He who has ears, let him hearken to the voice of the gods of Amachara. My people, let him go. My people, I greet you. We greet you. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
He has the people behind him. He, he has he has people. achieved nothing, Chetima. I am the Ibuain Tanda. This load is still too small to defy the strength and resolve of the hands of Amaja. It beats me. It beats me. How else can we continue with the gods solidly behind him? Ichidima, the voice of the people is the voice of the gods. Yes. But if the gods decide to speak and act at variance with the wishes of the people, then it is better for the people to forge ahead without them. Abu Abanda. Abu Abanda. Chief Moka. That's a verbal challenge to the gods. It's dangerous. A wealthy man is a god to his own environment. It is now time to show that to the gods and the people of Amachara. Abu Abanda. I have never lost a battle. And I must win this one. Abu Abanda. Abu Abanda.
She said you will kill her in order to send a clear message to her father. I changed my mind. If in three days' time her father is still blocking my way to the throne, you will kill her and dump her cups in front of their house. Chief, please. Shut up! Shut up! I'm not going to break from you and you will die now. Eat. Take her out of this place. entreaties that I have made to your father in the last few days to let me be the ego of a marcher. He has refused. Now, I am going to send you home with a clear message for him. I will. I will do it for you, sir. It must be so much I will do it for you. Good. These gentlemen will brief you on your way. Gentlemen. Yes, Chief. Standing by, Chief. Take heart to our father. Yes, Chief. Okay, Chief. Consider it though. All right, lady. Thank
Look, I know how you feel about this. Huh? Every other mother should feel like this. But listen, there's nothing to be disturbed over. We shall find her, I promise you. I know that the gods will protect her. She'll be back. I have served the gods well, and they will protect my daughter. Hmm? Don't let this disturb you, please. Have you served them better than the chief priest, who they murdered in cold blood three days ago? And that gods have done nothing about it. My, the way I saw my daughter Chidera in a dream last night, it wasn't good at all. Wait, a dream is only a dream. The police are already looking for her. I know that the gods will protect her until the police find her and bring her back. I am assuring you that she'll be back. Huh? She will be back. Gods of our land, come to our rescue. Gods of our land, wipe away our tears. Gods of our land, help us out of this situation. Gods of our land, you're all that we have. Oh, yeah. You're all that we have. Right. 